Hi, welcome to tutorial one. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is get you a version of AutoCAD. Uh, I am at Autodesk's uh, website right now, uh, www.autodesk.com. This is their home page. Uh, we're going to go to products. We're going to go down to the bottom, free trials. Or not. Okay, that gets you to a form that you fill out. Uh, you hit um, the button at the bottom of the form and your download will start. Okay, once you've got that downloaded, uh, you need to go to www.rviscodesign.com. Um, you can see up here. Okay, go to tutorials, uh, go to house plan in AutoCAD, and there'll be a picture that you can download of the house we're going to draw. Um, tutorial 1 and tutorial 2, a text file of the commands and a drawing file showing what we've done in each tutorial. Okay, once you've downloaded and installed AutoCAD, uh, your screen should look like this. And we're going to make a few changes to the screen. Uh, we are not going to use toolbars. So, uh, this is actually a ribbon. We're not going to use that either. We're going to go up to the upper left corner and go to AutoCAD Classic. Okay, still there's a lot of toolbars and things interrupting the screen. We're going to clean them off. We're going to um, get rid of just X uh, out that one. We are going to just right click on all of the toolbar, or any one of the toolbars actually at the end of it. And we're just going to unclick all of them. Okay, so right click, draw order, we'll just unclick that one. Uh, again, right click right on the end of the toolbar. Layers will leave, modify will leave, well actually modify will get rid of. Okay, right click. Layers and properties are good. Okay, we'll get rid of that smooth mesh. Uh, we'll get rid of standard. And we'll get rid of styles and we will get rid of workspaces. Okay, uh, we are going to get into the options. We're going to use the options command. Um, we're using, instead of toolbars, command prop down at the bottom. Uh, it's a text editor looking thing. Um, we're going to type in uh, OP uh, for options. We're going to press enter or the spacebar. Okay, that gets us into the options dialog box. Uh, we're going to change our display a little bit. Uh, we don't need to, dis scroll, to display scroll bars, so we'll unclick that. Uh, our colors, uh, we'll leave it in black for now. Um, uniform background, the crosshairs, you can leave them in white. I like red. And we'll apply. Okay, uh, layout model tabs are fine. Um, crosshair size, I like 100%. Okay, open and save is good. Uh, plot, everything else in here should be, um, the default should be fine for now. Okay, you can see here you automatic save every 10 minutes. And so you're saving a version. So if you've worked for a couple hours and your computer crashes, you'll, you'll find something that um, has been saved 10 minutes ago. Okay, apply. Okay. Um, because we're using this command prompt, um, and I'm going to type in abbreviations for commands, uh, we need to do a little bit of setup for that. AutoCAD runs off a PGP file. Um, if you go over here to Tools, and you go down to Customize, and then to Edit program parameters which is the autocad.pgp file. It should bring that file up. It's a notepad file. It's a very simple file. Okay, AutoCAD is reading from it and you can see here on the left hand side uh, you have abbreviations and on the right hand side the column is um, the command. Okay, so if you come down and you go to get into the R's and you go to rectangle RC 
Now it won't be in yours, right? Our EC down here will be in yours for the rectangle command. Okay, we're either going to change that. You can change that by just clicking in there, backspacing, and now RC will get you into the rectangle command. Um, so anytime that we run into a problem where AutoCAD hasn't been set up for our abbreviations, we'll come in here and change it. Okay. Um, you can click out of here. It should ask if you'd want to save, and you say yes. Now you're back into AutoCAD, and you type in re in it for reinitiate. Um, press enter. Okay, it's asking what do you want to reinitiate, reinitialize. Uh, you just go click on PGP file and go okay. Now when you type in RC. The rectangle command comes up on the uh, command prompt down here. You can see here on the first line I typed in RC. On the second line it brought up the command for RC. And on the third line it's asking us to pick a point to start our rectangle. Well, at this point we are going to pick zero and then comma, okay, which gets us into the next little dialog box there, and zero and press enter. Okay, you can see that our rectangle has started. Uh, if you move your mouse, it, you can go into any direction that you want. Um, if you're going in this direction, you're in the X, as you can see here on the UCS icon. X is the horizontal. If you're going up, then you're in the Y, you can see here on the UCS. You can see that the uh, vertex of the UCS icon is zero, zero. Okay, well, um, let's just go 5, comma, 5, enter. Okay, so there we have a rectangle that is 5 spaces um, in the x direction and 5 spaces in the y direction. Okay, let's type in units. Okay, so um, AutoCAD right now is set up in decimal units. Okay, so um, decimal would have been five, depending on what you want it to be, uh, meters, centimeters, units, decimal units. We're going to set it up to architectural. Now we're working in uh, feet and inches, okay, and so those uh, five units would now be five inches, okay. Um, sample output down here. Um, Precision, one sixteenth of an inch is fine. Okay, angles, we're going to leave it at decimal degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and so on. And we're going to measure our degrees in an anti-clockwise direction um, as opposed to clockwise, so we'll leave this blank. Okay. Okay, limits. The limits of our drawing. L-I-M-I-T-S for limits. Press Enter. Okay, right now our limits are set to 11 inches by 1 foot. So 11 inches in X, 1 foot high. Well, the house we are going to draw is 50 feet uh, square, 55 feet rectangle. And so uh, 1 foot isn't enough. We're going to reset our limits. At the bottom of the command prompt it shows the lower left corner of our limits to be at 0, 0. And so that's fine. We'll accept it. Press enter. On, it's asking us now at the bottom of the command prompt for the upper right corner of our limits of our drawing and we're going to press 100 comma well actually we're going to press feet okay and comma which bounces us into the next uh, text box and 100 feet in the Y direction press enter okay now we are going to zoom. So Z for zoom, enter, okay, and we are going to go at the bottom of the screen. It gives us a, a number of different choices. Uh, we are going to pick the first one, which is all, and so A for all, and then press enter. Okay, so now our little rectangle, five inches by five inches, in our screen of 100 feet by 100 feet, is pretty small. We're going to get back into the zoom command, Z for zoom, enter. Okay, we are going to pick uh, along the bottom of the command prompt 
extents. Okay, so E for extents and enter. You can see how we've just zoomed to what we have drawn, that 5 inch by 5 inch uh, rectangle. Okay, um, we're going to, um, uh, if you zoom, if you have a roller mouse and uh, you roll down, you're zooming as well, you can see that. If you press down on your roller mouse, you'll get the pan hand and you can move around your drawing. Okay, so if you don't have a roller mouse and you need pan, press P for pan. Okay, enter spacebar. Okay, and there's the hand. And with your uh, left mouse, you can move around your screen. Okay, escape out. Okay, um, I'm going to zoom down. This grid, um, I'm going to turn it off. It's in my way. Um, I'm going to just go down here to the bottom, and that's the grid. Um, or I'm going to type in grid. Okay, enter, and you can see at the bottom of the, of the command prompt, there's a number of different things that we can do, but at this point we're just going to type off, enter, and the grid's off. Okay, uh, we are going to zoom down with our roller mouse a bit, or uh, zoom, okay, Z, enter, zoom, we're just going to draw a rectangle right around our rectangle okay we are going to we don't need this UCS icon anymore we're going to turn it off so we're going to type in U C S icon enter okay we can type in off enter okay now this rectangle has nothing to do with the house it's five inches by five inches um, it might be a little component but let's stretch this rectangle, okay? So S should get us into the stretch command, um, and it does. Now, in order to stretch an object, you have to use a uh, window, okay? So I'm going to click here. I'm going to draw a window or a box, selection box, from right to left, and I'm going to select the rectangle like that. Okay, I press spacebar or enter. It's asking me my base point for my for stretching. I'm just going to pick this point right here. Okay, uh, now it's asking me for the second point. Where do I want to stretch to? Okay, well, I could stretch anywhere I want. Okay, first thing I want to do is be in a straight line, so I'm going to press F8. That's going to turn ortho on. Okay. That means that everything that I draw now will be either um, straight up or straight down, either in the straight in the X or straight in the Y. Okay, I'm going to go over and I'm going to um, press in 20 feet. Okay, 20 apostrophe or feet. Enter. Okay, so I've just stretched that rectangle. Okay. To, I'm just going to pan over here. Okay, zoom down a bit. Now this rectangle uh, should be 20 feet, 20 foot 5 inches. Okay, that's it for now. I have to go. See you in the next tutorial.